Boom. Peace. Intro. What's happening? How y'all doing? Friday. The weekend. Still working on these customs. I'll be buried in these for a while. Um, the ones I thought I was going to have done. <laughs> the three special ones. Um... I got them. I pulled them down yesterday to put decals on them, and I noticed that uh, I don't think the color was dark enough, so I had to reshoot them. And uh, so now I got to wait a little longer. But oh well, it is what it is. I, I could have just done it, but I, I want them to look right. Oh, but check this out. I took that Jeep. I didn't. I love that Jeep. That Jeep. That one. I just love the color of it. Everything about it. And, uh, but the wheels sucked, so I took them off of that. Uh, you know, it's one of them new marble trucks, the Land Rover or something. Don't that look awesome? I didn't do nothing else to it. I just popped these wheels on it. Like I said, I like it like it is. I mean, I guess I could put some tail lights on it or something. Color in the tail light, red, big deal. Maybe paint the bikes. But those wheels are awesome. I grabbed a bunch of them castings just for the wheels. I also grabbed the rig that has the three three sets, basically the same wheels you'd put on the back of a gasser or something. And uh, I grabbed like three or four of those because that'll give me a lot of rear wheels right there for gassers. But those are some cool wheels. I'm going to pick up a couple more if I see them. I could use those on a lot of things. I haven't even started doing trucks yet. I wanted to do some trucks. I also want to do a Camaro. I want to do one of them lifted Camaro type things with 67 with these kind of wheels on it or something. But anyway, I thought that looked pretty cool. And like I said, just a simple little wheel swap. It went right on there. It just went no problem. Popped right on there. Anyway, I got a couple packages here. One from our buddy, Mr. Gary Slintz. I know y'all see him in the comments. You see him in Old Man Die Cash. You'll see him everywhere. But a uh, really, really nice guy. And a lot of people don't know it, but he does some really nice customs. He just, up till now, didn't have a YouTube channel. Um, but he started one, I believe, just a couple days ago. I don't know if it's for, for good or what. And I believe it was just called Gary Slintz. S-L-E-N-T-Z. You have to check that out. And, uh... But he shows some of his cars, but uh, he, he actually does a lot of these cars and uh, Let me see if I can actually Confirm Yeah he has four subscribers now. It's actually, ooh, come on. it's going to be kind of hard to see, ain't it? There we go. It's just Gary Slintz, second. But uh, he actually, a lot of these cars you see in there, he he did. He And he does this excellent job. I mean, those are, those bad mans, you'll see a couple bad mans in there. They're not mine. They look a lot like them, but they're not mine. And he does a little more detail work on them as well. And, uh, but anyway, I'll check him out. He, uh, I don't know if he's going to be making videos all the time or not, but I told him he should show them cars because a lot of us would like to see them. Well, anyway, he said he had the Pontiac GTO for me. So we'll bust this baby open and take a look from the Boulevard set. I was like, right on. Let's see here. Hewitt's Hot Wheels. Thanks. Thanks again for doing a trade with me. I threw in a wheelies for you to customize, use, or trade, or keep for yourself. Have a great day. Had an extra gasser. Gary. All right. Let's see here. Oh, sweet. Nice little 41 wheelies. Right on, brother. I sent him a couple muscle machines. You know, the transports. Uh, the, Edel, the Edelbrock and the uh, 442, I sent him a couple of those. And uh, I actually scored a few, and he had asked, and 
they sent it. Anyway, that's pretty cool. I don't know that I'd do much to it. It sure could use some wheels on her. But that's sweet. Right on. Oh, cool. Yeah, another gasser. Guster. The tinted window works fine. Only one of my favorites. The champion is probably my favorite. The, the holly gasser. Red, white, and black with the clear windshield. Just because the windshield's clear. It's so much different with a clear windshield. You can see all the details inside. But this tinted one works great. Awesome. I was getting low on gassers, guys. I mean, I do so many, so many people want them that I just, you know, they go. They go, go, go. And uh, I have sold a few, but I gave most of them away. And uh, right on. There it is. That's two down. And that baby is sweet. I could do a different color on her, but look at that lower baby. Pontiac GTO. 66. Whew. She's just sitting right. Yeah, now I just need the uh, Volkswagen, the DeLorean, and the Superbird. I haven't seen any of these around here. Right on. Thanks, brother. Appreciate that. Yeah, that's a, I know it's kind of a bummer, you know, I, I hate to get, have some, you know, you, 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 that, hey, you want this? Well, yeah, I'd like to have it, but holy cow, man, it costs so much to ship one car, you hate to say, you know, yeah, send that to me, you know, it just, it's kind of a bummer. I mean, I know, I, I pay to ship a lot of cars out to people myself. And, uh, but, I mean, it just is what it is. Now I got another one here from Rat Black. I had no idea it was even coming. And uh, pretty good sized little box here. But I had no idea this was even coming. Don't have any idea what it even is. So, let's see if we can check her out. Bust her open. And get a look-see at her. Because I have no idea what he's sending Looks like there's a note on top. Ooh, I got a sticker. Rat Black must have stickers. James, hopes these castings help you keep rolling on those fabulous customs. All my best. Rat. Right on. Must have sent me some, some, some more casting. Oh, wow. Check it out. Got a couple bodies. Gasser bodies. Um, never know when you might need them for something. I mean, they don't have the rest of it to it. I don't think. There's a clear windshield. But, uh, you never know, man. There's so much you can do with other, other, you know, you could put this on a different body and, uh, kind of slam it you could there's so much you could do with these so those are handy I'll save those oh looks like he's got several wrapped up in here maybe there's some parts in there oh awesome dude thanks a lot rat check it out another guster gasser awesome thanks buddy I'm I need a and check this out the ones I told you were my favorite. I can't believe he had that many of them. He sent me four of them. This is the best one, I think, because it's got a clear windshield. It shows all the details in there. And, you know, back when these came out, you, you, you couldn't find them. I, I only found a, a couple around here. And the white on top was all messed up on mine. And, uh... So how he got so many, I have no idea. But right on. Thanks, brother. Shoot, all together, that's six more gassers I got now. And four of them with the clear windshield. Oh, that's super cool. Dang, thanks, brother. I could definitely use those. I do have more people wanting more gassers, that's for sure. 
and oh check it out another another guster already and it's just lightly tinted guys I mean you can see through it just fine so I said the guster would be my second favorite and depending on what you're doing it would be a favorite too because sometimes you want that slight tint and it is just lightly tinted you can see in there real good right on another guster man check it out dude the guys hooked me up what? oh another gasser right on man he sent me a bunch of his loose ones surely he has more check that out this one's cool too it's just got the blue windshield so you know it, it just it is what it is I mean there's times the, the 69 model General Lee I do it has a blue windshield I mean there's not much you can do about it I don't I don't I don't you know I just leave it but this uh blue windshield it'll work um, I don't know if I've done a bad man with it but even with the bad man I mean it's just it's a blue window I mean it's a light blue but um, I think it would go fine on a uh, like that black gulf gasser I did I think that would go just fine on one of those all black here the goal and it's blue yeah but anyway there's another gasser sweet man looks like there's a, oh, there's some pieces gotta be careful with that make sure there's nothing else in there and there's some more pieces here maybe these are the pieces to them other gassers Oh, it might be. There's some bases. Right on, a couple bases. Those go handy to those two. I wonder if these are the interiors. Oh, looks like they are. Sure enough. And there's the interiors. So right on, so you got these. I see the whole piece is drilled off. Have to do some uh, some ingenuity on that one to get her to uh, stay. So one's missing a windshield, which isn't a problem because there's so much you can do with that as well. You know, as far as making it just one that does not have a windshield. And uh, that looks that look weird, don't it? What's going on here? That just looks so weird without the wheels on it. Looks like it's super tall. Yeah, it looks like the stud hole has been drilled down just a little deep. I believe this one... This one I could probably still get a short screw in. But right on. That's a gasser, guys. May not look like it to you, but once I strip them all down, this is pretty much what I have. I put my own wheels and I do all the other painting. I always paint those flat black so you can't see any chrome up in there. And uh, all up in the wheel wells, I paint all that. So that's a gasser, guys. And uh, this one can be too. It actually. Like I said, it's going to need some work. I'll probably have to put a stud in the front because there's not enough room left there to drill anything. So I'd probably put a stud or something in there. I mean, there's several ways around it. It's not a big deal at all. But 
these would be more or less some gassers I would use if I was playing around with something for myself. I, uh, or if, you know, I get a casting and it's just so terrible and pitted that I can't use it, I could come back and take one of these and use this casting instead. Because sometimes there is a lot of stuff to file out of these. These gassers got so much to file out. I mean, I remove all those casting lines there. And you got to be careful. You need to use round piles in certain spots. Just, just the tip of one here. I mean, there's a lot of little work there. I always take them casting lines off that roof. And uh, I always just, I mean, I, it's pretty easy the way I do it. I just kind of, I just kind of rub like that. Sometimes, sometimes I do that. As long as you just keep it, don't let it dig a spot. Keep it moving across there. You'll get that line right out of there. See how it doesn't move? I'm actually going the whole length, almost the whole length, and up and down. So it, it really doesn't move. And then just kind of feather it back in. But it takes the whole casting line right out of it. And it doesn't mess up the edge. And um, usually I can see it. But if, if, you, if not, when you paint it, you're going to see it. So you just got to make sure that you just try not to. I, I just let the file do the work. You know, I don't, I don't dig into it because that's all it takes is a good slip and you just, you just etched it. But anyway, these would be something I would probably make for myself. If I was just going to salvage them or I had a, you know, some kind of idea I wanted to run. But, um, I'd save all these good ones for, uh, customs for people. Uh, for either way, sell, give away, whichever. Uh, I would give them the good ones. That's awesome. I really needed those. I could really use those. Thanks, brother. That was Awesome. Let's see what kind of sticker he got me in here. Right on. Rat Black's Diecast. YouTube, Instagram. Next time you all see my little thing down here, it's going to be on there. It might be on the one to the side. I try to keep them out of the, my work area because you get stuff all over them, and I don't. I don't want them all messed up. Pretty soon it'll be full. I should have got me something else to put them on, but that's all right. I can always, if I make me a banner or something to put them on, I can always get a hold of everybody and get another one, even if I had to buy it from them. But cool, right on, brother. Thanks for the sticker. Well, heck, that's really cool. I really appreciate that. I had no idea those were coming. So that's basically four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, basically nine gassers he sent me. Seven of them perfect for, for giveaway, sell, whatever. I can make them. And then these two spares. And like I said, you can do, uh, you know, you got some idea. Like, uh, I don't know if y'all watch it, but New Collector, the Hawaiian dude, Really nice guy, super cool man. I started watching his channel a while back, and uh, but he done one and he lowered it. He, he got a base. He actually got a base. You can he got it online. He, he he'll tell you where to get it and all. But um, and that was probably the easiest way because I would end up making one out of something, and uh, to to do what he did. But the easiest way was the base he ordered, and uh, but anyway, it looked awesome. He lowered it. He, he set her down. I mean, he just laid her on down and uh, uh, gave it to Mustang Hunter, so I'm sure you all have seen it. But anyway, there's like that. You can do things like that, which I'd basically do the same thing. I'd just have a different base. I'd use another base, and uh, I'd save this because I could cut this off 
and I can put this on something else. I can turn something else into a gasser just by just by cutting all that out and saving that whole housing piece to pop onto another one. The same thing with this one. And this one I could actually cut the tranny and all. So there's a lot of things you can do with those. You just gotta, I guess, work it out. But anyway, thanks brother, I appreciate that. That's awesome, man. Um, I had no idea those were coming. Thanks a lot, man. That really helps me out. It gives me, gives me more gassers. And like I said, Mr. Slint sent me one. And I got a couple more last week. That's super cool. Appreciate it, guys. I guess I'll let y'all go. I need to try to get some more of this work done. Um, man, I wish I could show you them other things. I'm anxious to show them to you, but I don't want to show them to you until I'm done. And, uh, because they're pretty cool. And, uh, but I'm not done with them. So, sorry. But, uh, there's, there's three of them. Like I said, two of them are already gone. There'll be one left for sale. Um, if anybody wants it, we'll see. So anyway, I'll take it easy. I got some more customs going on over here, all over the place, but uh, they're for customers. I got one I'm giving away. Like I said, I always try to work some giveaways in there, guys. I don't do all these just to sell them. I constantly keep giving them away, and because uh, that's what it's about. I, I mean, it's awesome. Thank you guys for buying these things. It really helps me buy more, and I, and I really appreciate it, and it does make me happy. But for some reason, I get, I'm, I'm, I'm really a lot of have, it really gives me pleasure, or whatever you want to say, when I give one to somebody, especially when they don't know it's coming. I mean, I got, I got so many people on my list that already know they're on the list, so that's kind of, a, it's still fun to give it to them, but they already know, you know. It's fun when you, like I got one going on now for somebody, he doesn't even know he's on my list, but he'll see when he gets it. But that's just, that's what it's all, it's just fun like that. And you guys help me to do that. I mean, sure, I've been, I was doing it before then, you know, and, and you know, it just is what it is. I give away cars as well. But uh, you guys really help me when you buy these cars because I could buy more supplies, I could buy more wheels, and so on, you know. And it, it just helps me to be able to do more and more. And, but anyway, I, I can't, look at that. I love that color, that antifreeze green or whatever. It's one of my favorite colors. Green is period. But don't that just look so much better with those wheels on it? Like I said, guys, any of you guys doing them customs, man, grab you some of them wheels. I mean, it's, you know, you're five fifty six bucks. I mean, you can get them cheaper online if you order enough of them. But for the hassle-free, those are excellent. I mean, those are excellent, cool wheels. Even if you want to steal the rims off and put them on something else, you can just pop the tires off and change them. Anyway, pretty cool deal, man. I just really like how that turned out. And that's probably my favorite color of that particular Jeep. Anyway, I'll take it easy. And uh, I wonder... Here you go. I'm going to give you a quick, quick glance at the bottom of the three things I'm working on. There you go. See if y'all figure that out. It's going to be pretty cool. I think. Anyway. Y'all take it easy. Talk to you later. Peace. Outro.